Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are at 917 Gash Creek Road in Mills River, North Carolina. This is a phenomenal piece of property. 3.8 acres in size, 2,400 square foot, a little bit more than that. Four bedroom, three bath house. 3.8 acres. All, almost all of it is here in bottom land. Some goes back up behind the house. You probably hear the creek behind us, Boylston Creek. Phenomenal creek, fairly bold creek. Haven't had that much rain recently, but you can get down into it. The property goes to the middle of the creek, so the creek is yours to use. Asheville is about 25 minutes away. Asheville Airport, 15 minutes. Brevard, 15 minutes. And Hendersonville, probably another 15 to 20 minutes away. Phenomenal location. Just off from Boylston Highway, which is a four-lane highway, there's virtually no mountain roads to have to cross through or get through to get here. It is off Gash Road. It's a gravel road right now. Could be paved in the future. There's a small commercial, um, I believe it's a cement plant, out on to, uh, uh, Boylston Creek out there. Um, doesn't really make that much noise, but it is there. But you're tucked back in here in agricultural lands. Next to us is a, a small piece of property where they're raising bees. They've got some ducks. Um, they have that same interest in that small mini farm type environment. Across the creek is an equestrian property. I can see some fencing over there now for equestrian. And uh, bordering the rest of the creek as it wraps around uh, is another 23 acre farm, equestrian farm property. Beautiful location. Why don't we go ahead and take a little look around, see if we can see some of the water, and we'll take a look inside the house. Beautiful Boylston Creek is a tributary to Mills River, which runs into the French Broad River. Very clean water, I've seen small trout in here. There's certainly enough uh, depth for some wading for children. Uh, you could strap a boogie board to a couple of trees on either side and probably do a little bit of boogie boarding on this. I think there's probably about 500 feet worth of creek front on this property. Here's another turn here in the Boylston Creek. Across the way there you can see that is pasture land and looks like a riding ring area. It's been set up for horses. This section of the creek is a little bit deeper. This is where I saw the trout the other day in this area here. There's some good, I would say, three to four foot depths of water here in this area. Beautiful little section to jump on an inner tube up above there and slowly ride down through. This is the upper corner of the property and where the creek here is located. Widens out very nicely here. Again, not too, too deep. I've actually got the tripod in the water right now. Just on the edge, but I wanted to show you the upper portion. As I say, this is this is the upper edge of the property here. And then it starts from here and goes all the way down the creek. Great little inner tubing area. Great little boogie board area. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm a fan of water. And this property is, has just got uh, hundreds of feet of water. Not to mention the pasture for horses, llamas, what have you. Before we go to the house, I wanted to point out this section of the pasture here. This is a higher elevated area level with the main road. When the house was put in, they, they took away the soil there and brought it down here, making this perfect if you wanted to have a garage, barn type area down here. Uh, this is outside of any floodplain area, which is closer to the creek down there. But it makes the heavy work is done, if you will, by putting the soil in here. Now it's just ready for whatever kind of farm you would like. I'm going to go ahead and, and head up to the house. Before we go in through the front door, I wanted to point out the parking area here off to the left of the home. This is where a future garage could go to be attached. Or, further over, where there's a couple of extra uh, spare buildings right now, the garage could go out over that way as well for a detached garage. I did want to point out, uh, when we were standing over there, I had panned around so that we could see this area here, but I did want to show you the two buildings that are behind me there. The wooden structure uh, was built here on site. The metal structure was brought in. Both of those do stay with the property here. Great room for storage. Also behind the wooden building, 
over here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the property extends, the well to the home sits over there, and the property extends well past those, pun intended, beyond those buildings over there as well. So if you wanted to build perhaps a structure over here, you could do so, certainly a garage up in this area as well. From here, let me go and tell you a little bit about the septic system. The septic system is actually up behind the house. It is pumped up to the septic field, allowing the house to be able to sit where it is. The system in place to be able to do that was just upgraded this year, about a $5,000 expense. They went ahead and put in new electronics, new pumps as well for that system, so it should be working well for many, many years. Go ahead and take a look at that. deck area here. It's a very nice planting that we planted around the backyard here. Uh, there's a, a well back up behind us here, a nice retaining wall here. Uh, and as I say, the, the property goes up back behind the house as well. There's a little shed area here. The uh, additional door to go into the laundry room is just off to the left here. And then this would go down into the parking area there as well. Great use of space, nice little private little area, little sanctuary back here to yourself. Why don't we go ahead and take a walk inside the home. Well, it's a beautiful pasture and, and river out there, creek out there. We're inside the main living room area now. Our master bedroom is just off to our left. The two additional bedrooms are off to the right. A split bedroom floor plan, which is nice. So if you have noisy kids, they're on the other side of the house, you're not hearing them talk on the phone or watch TV or play their video games. There's a little fireplace uh, here. You may not be able to see that on camera. Coat closet. Our kitchen and dining room is back behind the camera. Why don't we go ahead and start in there? Boy, you talk about having space for, for a large family. This is it. Uh, whether you have a large family or uh, extended family with children, grandchildren, uh, this kitchen and dining room area is perfect for that. Dining room area seats six currently, could probably fit ten in here without an issue at all. Very large kitchen area, very nice island, breakfast little island, uh, cook prep island. We've got a full pantry right here to our right. The uh, refrigerator stays as well as the stove. It is a gas stove, which is nice. And dishwasher as well stays. The dishwasher is fairly new. Um, off from the kitchen area is the laundry room. I call it also the pantry area as well. It is quite large. It is not just the washer and dryer. You can probably fit an additional freezer out there, more storage. There's an exterior door that goes out into the backyard, and then there's also the sliding glass doors that go off onto the back deck. So great space, great space for the, for the, for the cook in the family or for those large families. From here, why don't we go ahead and take a look at some of the bedrooms in the house. I think we'll probably start with the master bedroom. Okay, we're looking at the master bedroom, which overlooks the pasture area. The creek is down below. Very good sized master bedroom with walk-in closet and its own master bathroom, which we'll take a look at here in a moment. The well-appointed master bathroom has double vanity, garden tub, and full walk-in shower. The second bedroom is off the back of the home here. Very good size, very high ceilings. Nice, light, bright, open, airy design, and has a sort of a walk-in closet built out into the room. Architecturally, it's, it's a unique feature when you're sitting on the bed and looking back in that direction. This is our third bedroom on the main floor. This bedroom is a little bit smaller than the second bedroom, but does have the double windows, which is nice off the front. You'll also notice the uh, wallpaper border as well as the comforter on the bed has horses, and it would take uh, literally uh, very little work to be able to put those horses in that pasture just across the road here. Um, so uh, your daughter or son could wake up every morning and see those horses across the way. From here, we're going to take a look at the bathroom, the guest bathroom here downstairs. And then we're going to go upstairs and take a look at the fourth bedroom, bathroom, and family room area. This is another built-out closet here in this here bedroom. Here is our main floor guest bathroom with full tub and shower. This is our fourth bedroom, which is upstairs. 
Uh, it's a very good sized bedroom with a closet area off to the left, as you can see, window to the right. Behind the camera here is a dormer, which is a good little sort of reading nook area and overlooks the pasture across the road here as well. There's plenty of space for a desk and a study area over here to the left. There's actually a desk there in that area as well. It's a very good sized room. If you had a teenage son or daughter that wanted some privacy, this would be a, a great little spot for them to call their own. Outside here is then the hallway where the music room is, bathroom, and then the family room area as well. Here is the office slash music room. Uh, a kind of flexible space for whatever it is that you need it for, but is a very nice uh, smaller room. It does have its own uh, heating and air conditioning vent there in the ceiling. So it would be a very comfortable room for whatever project you wanted to make it, or as I say, for an office. This is our third bathroom. It's a full bathroom. This bathroom is upstairs. It has a full shower and tub with storage off to the right. Well, families, this is the family room here. It's a great use of space, about 16 feet by 20 in size. There's another little office area. Two dormers off the top here as well to let in more light. There's another dormer in that bedroom that I showed you earlier. Great use of space in here, as you can see, a little library area, ping pong table for the, for the kids. There's a storage area back behind here as well. There's plenty of storage to be able to put stuff away, Christmas items, holiday items, toys, uh, winter clothing, and whatnot. Just a, a lot of space here in the house. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this home. I know I have uh, with the pasture that's down there for uh, your horses, for your llamas, for your sheep, uh, for the creek, the hundreds of feet of Bulge Creek front um, that you own down into to be able to do some boogie boarding, some wading, some fly fishing. Um, the property to me just, just has it all. There's even some mountain views um, out over there as well, as you'll see in some of the still photography. So clearly I'm sold on the house, uh, but if I can help you in any way, do let me know. Thank you so much for spending your time with us today.